Today we are going to look into correlation and regression analysis using Jamovi. Now here is my data set and I've already got these variables transformed. Calculated the mean score. I've got three of them. If you know how to or if you want to know how to transform the variables there is a video on uh, the channel and you can look into it. The link will be shared in the description as well. Now let's say if I'm interested in calculating correlation between these two variables CSR and customer loyalty. So what you need to do is go into this regression menu and click correlation metrics. Here is the list of all the variables in the study and for now I'm interested in CSR and its correlation with customer loyalty. So what correlation coefficients do I want? If the data is normal, you will go for PSN. So if your data is not normal, you can go for Spearman or Kendall Top or it's continuous or and ordinal or ordinal. So you will go for these correlation coefficients. In this case, the correlation between CSR and customer loyalty is 0 0.716, which would which we can say is strong enough and it's significant. We've got other options here that we can choose from. The additional options include report of significance, which is already checked. If you remove it, what happens is it removes the p-value. You can flag significant correlations. You can have the n-values and you can have the confidence intervals. You can have the plots as well. And if you know that your hypothesis is directional, and if it's positively directed or the correlation is negative, you can choose either of these options. In this case, we assume that it is positively related. So you can have plots. Just click this option and it will give you the plot between CSR and customer loyalty. Let's say we want, okay, here is your plot. Let's say We've got another variable which we want to add to this matrix or create a matrix. So let's add satisfaction. And the satisfaction is added to the matrix. And here are the correlations of satisfaction with CSR and customer loyalty. And here are the plots. So this is how you can use Jamovi for correlation analysis. Now let's say we want to use Jamovi for regression analysis. Our dependent variable is customer loyalty and CSR and satisfaction are our independent variable. So again, go to regression, linear regression and our dependent variable is customer loyalty. Our independent variable referred to as covariates is CSR and satisfaction. If you've got categorical independent variables, just two categories, maybe gender or any other variable with two categories, you put it in here as factors. Now, if you add dependent variable customer loyalty here and your independent variables, continuous independent variables here, here are your regression results. So the R square value 64.1% or point. 641 per, uh, 0.641 transformed into percentage 64.1 percent so 64.1 percent change in customer loyalty can be accounted to csr and satisfaction so are both these significant yes both of them are significant because their p-value is less than 0 0.05 the t-value is greater than 1.96 now there are other options as well that you can choose from now there's model builder uh, so if you want interactions and others let's go for and here are assumption checks so you can use autocorrelation collinearity shapiro wilk and other plots as well you can have adjusted r square you can have your f test rmsca you can have your anova test standardized estimates all different options are available to choose from have a look at them the VIF values look good. The standard estimates, the regression weights look good, greater than 0.1. Normality test, well, it doesn't look good. 
So there are a lot of options to choose from which you can look into. So this is how you can use Jamovi for correlation and regression analysis. Thank you very much.